we again pray for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. God, once more, we look to thee and our prayer is that you would be in my head and in my thinking, be in my eyes and in my looking, be in my mouth and in my speaking, in our hearts and in our understanding. It's my prayer in the name of Jesus and for his sake only, amen. When Pastor Surgeon John called me and invited me to, to take this assignment today, I didn't have to wrestle very long with the Lord as to what my topic would be. Uh, besides the love of Jesus and the second coming, perhaps one of my favorite topics is the topic of angels. I've even developed a series on angels and we would just like to share a portion of that with you today. You've already listened to the reading very well read by our scripture reading today, taken from Psalms, the 91st chapter. But I'd like to share a couple of statements from the pen of inspiration, Ellen G. White, which validates uh, the fact that the choice of sermons today is not by accident. In the book called Porter Ministry, Ellen White gives this admonition. She says, we need to understand better than we do the mission of the angels. And then another validating statement found in Selective Messages, volume one, page 158. Over every man, good and evil, angels strive. It is the man himself or woman who determines which shall win. I call upon the ministers of Christ to press home upon the understanding of all who come within the reach of their voice, the truth of the ministrations of angels. Here's another statement. Ellen White in the little book, Early Writings writes, I saw angels over the saints with their wings spread about them. Each saint, each saint had an attending angel. Another statement from Desire of Ages. Armies of heaven encamped about all who love God to deliver them from dangers seen and unseen. We have been preserved, she says, through the interposition of the angels. We shall never know until in the light of eternity we see the providence of God. Then we shall know that the whole family of heaven was interested in the family here below and that messengers from the throne of God attended our steps from day to day. Why do we need the guardianship of angels? Couldn't help but ask. Testimonies, volume four, page 360. But at a certain time, could your eyes have been opened, you would have seen angels of God seeking to save you from yourself. And so our worst enemy is not the man next to us or the stranger on the street. We are our own worst enemy. And our guardian angel spends most of his time protecting us from ourselves. Isn't that interesting? Over and over again, she says angels interpose in our behalf. But not only do we have a guardian angel which God has assigned to us even before we were placed in our mother's womb and we were